I'm Mark Barish, Executive Director of the Green World Campaign and the author of, of Field Notes on the Compassionate Life. Uh, I look at what we're doing as green compassion. We're planting trees all over the world, uh, focusing on Ethiopia, where we have a 10 million tree project this season, calling it our spring planting. Uh, I call it green compassion because it's not just about trees, it's about people. Uh, people use trees uh, for fruit, for forage, for their animals, for food, it helps their crops to grow, it brings back water supplies sometimes in the village. Uh, it's uh, something that re remediates the soil, it sequesters carbon. A tree really does just about everything. And uh, we like to say it's amazing what one seed can grow. Because a seed doesn't just grow a tree, it grows a village and it grows community life. And in the end, it really helps the entire planet. We see a lot these days in magazines about uh, how to get carbon out of the air. I've seen plans proposed to put a giant array of space mirrors around the Earth uh, to spend trillions of dollars uh, putting carbon into bedrock and uh, other plans that are uh, really quite fanciful, I think, and uh, very experimental. One is even to shoot rockets laden with sulfuric acid into the atmosphere and recreate smog. I think a tree is the, the greatest invention uh, for sequestering carbon that, is, is, uh, that we have right at our fingertips. And uh, there is a lot of barren land around the world and there are a lot of poor people that would like to better their circumstances. And I think you can, if you combine those, you wind up with a kind of alchemy. You can actually restore land that is uh, near desertified if you know how to use trees and, and shrubs and crops and human labor uh, in the right way. And, and uh, this isn't just charity. This is really a case of partnership with people at the so who are so-called at the bottom of the pyramid. Uh, that's circumstantial. It doesn't mean that they're not resourceful and uh, really able to uh, do better not only for themselves, but in the end for the whole planet. So I think that we have a way here uh, available to us for just 25 cents a tree in our case to do something for the planet and for people. And I think this is something that we need in the world is to bring the environmental movement and the poverty alleviation movement, the development movement together and re recognize this is just one world and one partnership that is accessible and uh, something that we can, we can do for each other and for ourselves.